um, 16 months ago in March of 2020, um, I was diagnosed with stage three colon cancer. So I had surgery, found out I needed to go through chemotherapy, which lasted six months. So I missed the 2020 season or what we had of a 2020 season last year. And um, I finished my chemotherapy treatments in September. Um, and then kind of got to work trying to get back in shape, get back, um, you know, to playing baseball. And, and I was hoping that I could play in 2021. And, and luckily I was able to come back and, and it's been so great to be back. And, um, yeah, I received word a, a week and a half ago or so that I'd be participating in the home run derby this year. Um, so, so they invited me to do that. I was a little surprised at first, but I, you know, hopped on the opportunity. I'm, I'm so excited and it's a dream come true for me because as a kid, it's an event that I watched every year. Yeah, for sure. I'm, look, I'm so sad it's not in Atlanta. That's where we're at. So I wish, I wish you were coming to Atlanta to hit home runs. Okay. I, I'm, I'm yeah, not it's a all... beautiful park there. Yeah. yeah we, we, in 2018, it, it was, it's really, really nice. They did a great job. Yeah, awesome. So we, we got season tickets. We love going to all the Braves game. Maybe we'll, we'll see if you come down here sometime. But, uh, like, from from your perspective, I, I'm sure the, the colon cancer, it hits you out of nowhere, I'm sure. Like, you know, you watch celebrities, athletes, especially athletes. I would say especially athletes because you guys are in such great shape. You think that thing just doesn't kind of happen. Can you just kind of walk us through, like, what happened when you found out and, 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 you know, what you thought you'd be facing and then, you know, kind of how hard it was to get through. Yeah, it was shocking. Uh, my, whenever I got down to spring training, my iron levels came back really low in our spring training physicals. That's the only, you know, way that I found out about it. Wow. I didn't have any symptoms. If you Google colon cancer, I didn't really have anything going on that you see on there. So luckily I got the physical to show that my iron levels were depleted. And one of our head train, our head trainer, Brian Ebel, um, he, you know, he pulled me aside and he said, I don't want to scare you, but I think you're bleeding internally and we need to do an endoscopy and colonoscopy and, and see what's going on. And luckily they were, um, you know, very aggressive with getting me an appointment and things like that. And that's how I was diagnosed. So it was shocking. It was awful news to receive, but at the same time, I felt fortunate that we caught it when we did. Um, because like I said, there were no warning signs or anything like that. I maybe felt slightly fatigued, but, um, you know, it wasn't anything too out of the ordinary. So, you know, it, it was crazy. Um, it was, you know, t a tough pill to swallow at first, but I accepted it as reality and, and knew that I had to get through it. Yeah. Well, you're, you're a fighter. I mean, you're a fighter. You came through this on the other side and, uh, you know, that's something we, we love on this channel or, or comeback stories and, um, you know, is very inspirational. I, but, you know, like, because a lot of people watch this channel, they know I, I, I have a, a rough story in my past, too. I had to get through a, a lot of stuff, and I came out on the other side, and, you know, th things are phenomenal. It was a long time ago. But one thing that I've always been passionate about, like, ever since I went through my struggles, it was with addiction and different things, is that not only do I get through it, and my life's great, but you have to give back. Like, you have to continue giving back and helping That's people cool. Or else, like, really, what was the purpose of, of what you went through? And one thing I love about you and what you've done here is you are uh, giving back in a, a major way. So you talk a little bit about, um, you know, what you're doing with colon cancer and the foundation. Yes, and that's one of the biggest reasons I accepted the invitation was for the Home Run Derby was I, I knew that it would probably reach a crowd that maybe didn't know my story. And, and yeah, I, I um, feel a calling to help everybody else that maybe will go through the same thing that I went through or to prevent them. Um, from going through what I went through. But yeah, so my uh, my sisters and I and my girlfriend founded my foundation, the Trey Mancini Foundation. And, um, you know, we're focusing a lot on, on colon cancer and what I went through, but also we have other endeavors that we um, are passionate about. Like I, I partnered with Blessings in a Backpack. We do a backpack program awesome. for children around the Baltimore area. Just anything that is near and dear to my heart, I want to support. Um, but what we're doing with the, with the NFT is going to go towards colon cancer and, and awareness and, and um, helping some people out there. And, and I'm just so excited about it. And like you said, um, you know, you go through this and, and whenever you you come out the other side, you want to help everybody else out too.